Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I am back with my last scrapbook nerd crop layout. So this is another Magnolia Market page, and this was to use some die cuts, but uh, change it up somehow, use some mixed media, watercolors, ink, stamps, something like that to uh, change them from their original state. Um, so I'm keeping that in mind. I'm going to start with this uh, gift bag from Magnolia Market. That's what my Jimmy Don signs came in. And of course, being a scrapbooker, we have to hoard, so yay for hoarding, I actually used this. <laughs> um, I knew I wanted it to be part of the background on my page, and initially I thought it would be the entire background, um, but because I really wanted their logo to show, and it was smack dab in the middle of the page, uh, I had to tweak it a little bit, so I ended up just using it on the lower half of the page, since I do have two 4x6 uh, photos. I think if I had smaller photos, I could have used the whole backing. Um, but I ended up liking this better because I was able to incorporate the handle as well, whereas before it would either be sticking out of the top of the scrapbook or um, I'd have to cut it off. And you kind of lose the aspect of that being a bag without the handle. So I like that that was able to stay. <laughs> so I'm just going to piece it on this scrap piece of black paper. And that's where I'm going to start the background. I still had this idea that I wanted the whole background to be made of the bag. Um, but that really kind of was confusing to the eye, so I ended up putting a different uh, pattern paper up top. I'm really struggling with where to place these photos because I don't want to cut them down because I really want to see everything that's in those photos, but they're very large for uh, what I'm trying to show off with this bag, so um, I end up finding a, a happy balance. But that skinny horizontal stripe was just the kind of the wrong proportion. It looked too busy, so I got this wide stripe out from the Die Cuts with the View Jet Black stack. And I like how that looks. Joanna uses a lot of black and white in her rooms, but I don't necessarily think of her as having these black and white stripes. Um, but when uh, at the silos, she has all these pavilions areas where you can kind of hang out and they all have these black and white canvas tops on them. So it really reminded me of when I visited here, which is why I wanted to bring that in. <laughs> and then that's the die cut I decided to use. That's a Dear Lizzie title that says Say Yes, which I know can read very wedding, but I have no weddings um, to scrapbook. Uh, going backwards or forwards at this time and I didn't want it just sitting in my stash waiting for a wedding layout so I decided to use it on this one uh, and you'll see how I alter that. I end up going with that Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. I'm going to go around the edges of this mat and then I'll I use a stamp to alter that die cut. That really softens up the edge of that white border. Now I just want to clean up the edges. The bag I didn't really cut straight, so <laughs> you could see the background paper peeking through, so I just trimmed up the edges so it lined up right. <laughs> and then I have these uh, metallic doilies I got from Tuesday Mornings. Uh, they are from Richard Gary. They're just called metallic doilies. Uh, and I wanted to use the silver one because I'm still trying to bring in those metallic elements. I really don't use silver hardly ever, um, but I really feel like it, it references the metallics and the steel that Joanna uses in her home decor, so I really took the opportunity to use silver on my Magnolia Market pages because it just reminded me of her. And I'm happy with that placement, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those photos down. I had to take a picture of that uh, from Our Kitchen Homemade to Yours sign because that was one of the things they showed you on the Fixer Upper show when they were making Magnolia Market. And it was just so surreal seeing it in person. I had to like take a picture of it. It was just, uh, I was fangirling the whole time I was here. It was ridiculous. I had so much fun. <laughs> 
And then I, I'm thinking I'm going to layer my title over there and I'm just going to incorporate the doily and that metallic doily over on that side as well. Now I'm just going to test out this stamp on a scrap piece of watercolor just to see how it stamps and which areas I want to use. Um, but then I'm just going to stamp that whole die cut with this wood grain. I'm not quite sure what brand that wood grain is, um, but I like that. And then it wasn't standing out enough because it's on the brown paper bag and then it's going over the white doily and the metallic doily and it, it just wasn't... It wasn't popping enough, it just blended in and the re readability wasn't very good so I went around the edges with the Distress Ink like I did with the pictures and that helped a little bit, added a really nice detail. still wasn't happy with the readability though, so I was just trying it out in a few other areas to see if it would help. Um, then I'm just going to use the bottom part of that chalkboard tag that I had cut off from that top tag. There's that patch again. I will get that used up on one of these pages. <laughs> it doesn't make it on this one either though. <laughs> It's going to end up being my last Magnolia Market page and then I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I have to get the patch on this page. <laughs> Watch it have its own page just for the patch because I couldn't get it on any of the other layouts. <laughs> I had that scrap of the newsprint tag from a previous layout so I, I decided I'd use that on here as well so I just used my diamond punch, punch to add to that little corner. And then this is what I end up doing to help with the readability. It actually helped a lot. I just took a brown marker and went around the edge. It just, it was just darker than the Distress ink was, the Distress Oxide. So it just added just enough of an impact around the edges to, so you could read it easier. And from this top view, it still doesn't look too readable, but you'll see in the close-up pictures at the end that you, you can tell what it says in person. <laughs> I titled it Say Yes because I, I kept joking that I, I wanted to buy everything in the store. I mean, just one of everything if I could. <laughs> so um, I was just joking around that my mind just kept telling myself, say yes, buy it, buy it. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the other two metallic arrows that I have left over from that pack that I used on my first Magnolia Market page. So those both are going to make it on here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue down this title. And then that tag came with some white twine on it, but I really wanted to go back to using the black and white. I just thought it was more interesting, and the white kind of blended in with the white doily. And going back to my metallic brads and pulling out silver, I'm going to cluster those in a few areas as well to bring in that metallic. I'm really trying to use up all of my silver metallics because I know I'm not going to use them on any other pages. <laughs> I used to never use brads like this, um, they were just kind of random on my page, but using them like enamel dots has really helped me use them up more, just clustering like I would enamel dots or nouveau drops. <laughs> And then I'm just going to do my titling at the bottom, which is basically what I've already said. It just says, it was so surreal being in a place you saw come to life on TV. I wanted to buy everything, and my brain kept saying, say yes. And then I have the date. That was this past April. So here are the close-ups. I am all done with the scrapbook nude crop, but you have until September 29th to post your entries. Thanks for watching. Bye.